It's coffee time! Good morning, guys! It is Saturday morning! So today we kickstart our 48 hours of horror, the 48 hour Ebola-thon. So, um, I wanted to wake up earlier today, not gonna lie, but last night I couldn't fall asleep because it was extremely hot. It still is really hot in this apartment. And so I only slept like five hours or so. It's fine, we can work with that. I'm used to that. <laughs> so today, um, my plan is to, of course, try to read as much as possible, but I have a lot of things to do as well. So I think we're gonna kickstart our morning with coffee, as always. And I am going to go through like my emails, my comments on my videos, um, make a list of things that I would like to accomplish this weekend, like simple things, because I wanna dedicate this weekend to horror books and horror movies. But um, there's also adulting to do. So, you know, I just wanna make sure that I'm also gonna get to those things. So let's get our coffee and let's make our plan for the day and let's start reading. Hi, Boo. Is it too hot? Is it too hot, Lilith? I know. Bye. What's up? Does it stink? <laughs> As you can see, there are some things here that I did not mention in my August TBR pile just because I decided to just put a couple more things on the TBR pile for the weekend just that in case I'm in the mood for something else, I always have another option so that we can keep reading. So at the bottom here, you guys, we have Who's There by Dimas Rio. This is the collection of short horror stories. Then we have When the Sky Goes Dark by Oliver C. Seneca. Um, I'm really interested about this one because it's an apocalyptic slash post-apocalyptic story and you know guys I love those. Then we have The Festering One series by S.H. Cooper and it is a novella so it's short. Um, this one actually I just spontaneously added because I think I would like to read um, one or two of the stories. This is another compilation of horror stories and it's all based on Hollywood and movies and all of that. So that is 100% my jam. So maybe I will read one or two of these uh, short stories. We will see. Then we have White is for Witching by Helen Oyeyemi. Um, and this is one of the books that I mentioned on my video about horror books by black authors. So this is the first one that I have picked up from that list. And it's fairly short, so maybe I can squeeze it in, uh, squeeze it in this weekend. And the last one is just a point horror one called Amnesia, about a girl who wakes up in a hospital and doesn't recognize her own face. Uh, we all love these kind of short point horror stories, so this is one that I have not read yet. It's also short, like I said, so these are my options for this weekend. Excuse me. Excuse me. What is it, Lilith, honey? Is it hot? Yeah, is it hot? Is it hot? Oh. Oh. This is my last adopted baby. She was adopted, I think, at the end of January this year. She was very scared of people. Yes, I know. So it's been a process. <laughs> She's still scared sometimes, but it's much better. Mm hmm? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Every day, because I'm working from home, this is what it's behind my monitors. <laughs> this craziness goes on every day. Okay, you guys, so we have the books that I plan to read and we've made it to our location where I'm probably going to do most of my reading, which is where my big couch is. <laughs> so this is the room that you know as the room that I use for my movie reviews for my other channel. This is where the magic happens for that. Also in this room, we have my Funko wall. So <clears throat> there is some work that I still need to do, but since I'm going to be moving to a new place in less than a year. I'm gonna wait for that. Um, I have more pops over there. It's a mess, I know. Um, here we have the one and only Aquaman. Okay, 
no judgment. <laughs> um, and here is my couch. Hi, Boo. That's Lilith. I call her my gremlin. She follows me everywhere. So this is our couch that we can turn into a bed to make it more cozy. So here's where most of the reading is gonna be done this weekend. So we have everything we need. We have our pile of books. We have a couple of bookmarks to start with. Probably I'm gonna need more because I have more books. And we have our nice strong black coffee. So I'm having trouble deciding which book to start with. So I don't know what to do. I'm a little bit like, I don't know what to do. Maybe I should just read this one in one go and then feel super accomplished because I have read a book. <laughs> um, or maybe I can read like one or two of these stories because I'm really excited to check these ones out. Um, so maybe I will do one or two of these short stories and then maybe I'll try to read this whole novella so that I feel like, you know, like we, we're progressing. So in this one, there are a total of five stories, so which means I probably need to read at least two or three today so that I can finish it tomorrow, so have half. Um, but maybe I will finish it completely today because it's only five stories and the point is to read as much as we can. So let's start with this one then. Hello, you guys. We have finished the first two stories. So... Um, the second one was really short and I think I'm gonna go ahead and read the third one now But the third one feels more like a little novella because it's 70 pages. So um, I think um, if I read the third one, then I can finish this book then later today Because the other two are fairly short. So let's talk about the two first stories um, So the first story is called who's there? and we get to know this man that he seems a little bit kind of troubled there's something that it's bugging him um we don't know if it's guilt we don't know if something happened but apparently he had some sort of fight with his um fiance and he's in a bar with his friends um and they are all hanging out there because they are in a vacation so they are you know in a hotel as well and um, you kind of get to realize that whatever is bugging him is probably a darker secret than what we expect at the beginning. And is it just a secret or is it something else lurking, following him, coming for him? And that is all I can tell you about it because these are short stories so I don't want to spoil too much. So I thought the story was decent, it was okay. And the second one, even though it was shorter, I enjoyed even more. The second one kind of reminded me like a short episode of Goosebumps. So we have a high school student that is being sent by the high school magazine to interview a celebrity and this celebrity is a um, mystery novel writer. So during the interview he starts to tell this kind of story about his childhood of a kind of myth of a creature that um, parents would tell their kids about and it is about this monster that if you wouldn't go home um, you know be before dusk then uh, this creature would come for you because this creature eats children so you know I'm a sucker for this type of stories where there are creatures that comes for children or this kind of lore and myth kind of stories about them so I really did enjoy the second one and I love the punch at the end um, that's what what really made me think uh, of this story kind of like goosebumps uh, so I really did enjoy it and I think I'm gonna go now for the third story which is the longer one um, and see how that one is hi guys we're a little bit in the dark because I had to kind of cover my window because the Sun is insane today and we are all sweating balls here my cats me um, it's one of the downsides of this apartment because in winter it's nice and warm because um, we get all the sun but in summer <laughs> it's a little bit like burning alive but like I said I come from Spain so I kind of have learned the years to deal with the heat um, but I'm here actually to talk about books <laughs> not about the heat or me sweating <laughs> wow so classy anyways um, I finished the third story and also I'm in my third 
coffee mug for the day. So the third story is the longest one. It's the middle one. It's called The Wandering. And um, I really did enjoy this one as well. Um, this one felt a little bit like it could be totally adapted into, you know, a TV episode or a movie as well. Um, this one is about two security guards that are working the night shift at a business, like a company um, building. And, you know, they start to comment. Um, they, they are talking to each other through a radio system. So they are not on the same floor. And one of them starts talking about, you know, how everybody leaves for home and they leave a lot of stuff in their cubicles and how because he has a pregnant woman with um, complications and he has like high hospital bills, he sometimes takes stuff from cubicles, you know, steals small stuff. And while he is checking to see what he can steal, he finds a very mysterious letter dating from 1999 and he reads the letter and the moment he turns around, the next letter appears also out of the blue. So he keeps finding these letters and he doesn't know who's putting them there for him to read and to find. Um, so I really like the concept and it's interesting because, you know, letters is something that we don't see in horror stories so much anymore, which is sad. But, you know, we are in the technology era, so it was nice to get that feeling again of one of those stories that has letters in it. <laughs> Another thing that I really like about the book is that because it is inspired in Indonesia and their culture and their, you know, folklore, um, he's using a lot of words that are used in their culture and he's giving us a footnotes to describe what that word means. So I really enjoy that personally. So I don't know if some people don't like footnotes, um, but I don't mind at all if it's for something that it's not like in every page and three paragraphs of footnotes that might you know annoy me a little bit more um but i really 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 enjoyed the first three stories so i have two more to go um i think i'm gonna leave those two for later in the day um and i think now i'm gonna take like a 20 minute break to do something else and then we're gonna go back to reading and i think like i mentioned before that i'm gonna go for the novella the festering ones okay you guys so i know the lighting is a little bit poop but this is what we're dealing with with the heat so i wanted to start this book and i just did and i have a lot of thoughts i'm only like let's see 10 pages in and i'm already like is this going to be a five coffee mug for me um i'm loving everything about this book <laughs> um 10 pages in and i'm like yes please so our book our novella starts with a girl that goes hunting for the first time with her dad so the dad is a little bit like unsure if he should take her but she insists um uh, because she wants to spend time with her dad and bond with him so they go to this cabin in the woods to go hunting the next day and they make a discovery um and basically it ends up with her dad being dragged away by a creature that is kind of it looks like a naked woman that has spider legs instead of arms and basically that's how her dad is being dragged away and disappears and he's never found again um the people in town do not believe do not believe her what she saw they assume that he was killed by a feral animal like a bear or something like that something that it's more like bully bubble um and so 20 years later she goes back to her hometown because her mom has passed away so she wants to go to the funeral and she finds a box full of documentation of an investigation her mom was doing on her dad's disappearance so even though her mom pretended that um what she was claiming she saw was not real now she knows that her mom actually believed her and started her own investigation about it and now let's go to one of my favorite parts of this which is in this box there's a lot of documents that are leading to a group a cult called i think the gathering they're called um let me check that for you 
the gathered the gathered and so this is a group that it was well known back in the days that they had a house in the mountains and when people from town started disappearing then they sent the police to investigate and they discovered that they had like pieces of missing people there and things like that and apparently this cult um was happy anyways even though they got caught because they had already opened a door for some evil forces and i was like yes <laughs> i love this kind of stuff i'm a sucker for it so 10 pages in and look at how much story we got um and I am dying to find out more about this skull, if they still exist, if they are responsible for this kind of weird looking creature that took her dad. I'm just like invested <laughs> and I need to know. So we're gonna keep reading this one. And here is your girl reporting for duty, review duty. I was planning on taking a break in between, but I just needed to know what was happening. There was a lot of investigation, a lot of um, some gore going on, and I was super invested. So I read without breaks this beautiful novella, the first ring ones. Absolutely loved it. I think I'm gonna give it four coffee mugs. Um, it was a great read. It was fast paced. I really enjoyed the writing. I love the characters, I felt super connected with Faith, our main character, and even though it's a short novella, there were so many things going on and it was a full developed story. It kind of reminded me in a way to Silent Hill, um, because when she starts investigating this cult, um, The Gathered, um, she starts, you know, talking to different people and they refer her to other people that might know more and she ends up discovering that there is this town that um, no longer exists in the maps, nobody knows about, but apparently the rumors are that the people that are missing due to this cult might end up there. So she, together with a couple of other people that have missing loved ones, decide to go and investigate to this kind of ghost town that nobody knows about. Um, and I actually really, really, really like this novella. So, um, I'm definitely gonna check more by the author I have seen. She has um, more um, books that are mostly short horror stories. So I might check those out because I really like her writing and I really love this story. So if you're looking for a horror novella, I definitely recommend you to pick this one up. So now that I have read a complete novella and I have read nearly because I have only this little bit left so I have nearly finished this book as well I think I'm gonna go get some something to eat I need to grab a couple of groceries from the supermarket so I think I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna take a break to eat and maybe while we eat we can check out a horror movie because why not you know it's always something nice to do so i will check which ones i have that are related to the sea i know that i have a couple on amazon prime on my watch list uh, like the shallows the boat the ship <laughs> there are many about boats oh no hold on i have the tri i have triangle i have triangle and i'm really excited to watch that one so that's the one that we're gonna watch today. So excuse the background sound, but I have the ventilators and everything going on <laughs> because like I said, hot, hot, hot in Germany today. We have 36 degrees Celsius, which is a lot. We have here a bigger heat wave than my parents in Spain. So there's that. <laughs> um, so now I'm really excited because we're going to be checking out Triangle. I'm so happy I remember that I had this movie on my watch list piled up ready to go because this was recommended to me a couple of times and I finally picked it up like a couple of months ago and it's been waiting there for me to check it out so it is destiny that I check it in this evil because it does take part in a boat 
of the sea so it is perfect for the prompt for the evil -athon. um and i absolutely love this cover we have our potential final girl and on the other side we have our potential killer so i don't know i don't know what to expect i know there's a couple of twists and people didn't want to say what it was because obviously spoilers so i'm super excited to figure out what this movie is all about and then let you know guys how it went